achieve greatness. Craig, the writer, um, you know, he, he did Moulin Rouge. He, he also, he, like, he's got a great soundtrack taken behind this. Um, and really was not afraid, and not, neither was Shaker afraid of looking for uh, performances for camera and performances for theater. One of the first things we asked them was, do you want us to perform for the house or do you want us to perform for the camera? Because your instinct is if there's a camera there, that's what you're going to play for. Or if you're an old theatrical queen like I am, you, 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 want, to, you want to play the house because it's, it's instantaneous. Especially comedy, you know, it, a laugh tells you exactly where you are. It's, it's right there and there. Um, so so that's, that, that, that has been the sort of the challenge of it, the chaos. Uh, and Shaker works from chaos. He, he really believes that, that creativity comes out of chaos. I'm a bag of nerves most of the time, man. That's why I love to play parts like that, you know. Um, I suppose I've done, I've done a lot of theater, so I, I'm used to playing I, large crowds. Uh, as he is, I mean, he, he's, he's Wikipedia, so he's, he's not an unknown. I mean, he was one of the original actors of, of the company. But yeah, there's not like the reams of his history that you, you find about the, Bur the Burbages and, and Shakespeare, etc., etc. So it gives me a sense, I suppose, a bit of freedom sometimes. It's lovely, to have, it's lovely to have historical information on a character, but it can also be limiting um, because you're trying to portray an accurate um, account of a character. So I, did, I didn't really have to do that. These guys would, they would just go off piste all the time. And I think it incensed Shakespeare because he gets rid of Kemp eventually, historically. He gets rid of him. But yeah, they, 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 they eventually really, really have a massive, a massive split up. And, and Kemp uh, uh, kind of left and he did a jig. Uh, he danced to Nor from London to Norwich. And uh, I think was extremely arrogant and confident and thought that he was, he was it. And uh, so he danced himself into obscurity and was never heard of again. Nobody even knows where he's buried.